ان الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه وتعالى ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير ليس لنا رب سواه ولا نعبد الا اياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون ونشهد ان سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه وكشف الغمه وتركها على المحجه البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها الا هالك فصلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين يقول المولى عز وجل في كتاب العظيم بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون أما بعد my dear brothers and sisters in Islam and أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار نعوذ بالله سبحانه وتعالى من النار My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, still the whole world is talking about the power. The power between the people, between the nations, between presidents, kings. Everyone is still talking about his own power. They can destroy each other. And we went through more than a year and a half. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shut the whole world down and those people who's talking the leaders they've been isolated in their own houses for over a year and a half and they still they don't learn the power is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever they are doing is not affecting anyone except a permission come from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Holy Quran 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 and if you look at the ocean and the water and see what's there, what's moving in it, under and the top of it. And if you look at the rain, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drop it, and how the old earth getting grow and well by this word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided to us. And look at the wind, and look all of that, controlled by who? Is it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is any one of the human being can create what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created? Definitely not. So we are reached to the point, point of operations, injustice. We have zulm among each others, zulm that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't like it. So if we talk about that, we have to understand the biggest operations, the zulm, the injustice, when the human being associates someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, called the shirk billah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if we don't believe what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide us, we became among the disbeliever. In Surah Luqman, he's telling his son, Ya Bunay, la tushrik billah, inna shirk la zulmun azim. Don't associate anyone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is very harm, this is hard. And the second one between you and yourself, you commit sin and you know it's haram. You know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. And you're still doing it. But you make a step far. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you. That's between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is very light of mistakes. And you come closer to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and you pray and he will accept it from you. And the third is between you and the others. And this cannot be forgiven. Until the day of judgment in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, هَذَانِ خَصْمَانِ اخْتَصَمُوا فِي رَبِّهِمْ This is two fight among each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ulama, they said it when they talk about the khismain, 
the two of them is the Jannah and the Naar. The Jannah said, I am for the good believers and the poor that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide them the Jannah. And the hellfire will Billah said, no, I am good because I am the best. I am burning and I'm harm and I, I torture the person who disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said to the Jannah, I created you for my believers. And the hellfire, I created you to punish what who didn't believe me. But the ulama said, this is very weak. They're talking about two different issues. They talk about the battle of Badr when they ask the Prophet وسلم, to show the good people and come and fight with us first. That's how the war before. One against one first or two or three against each other. And the three from the believers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala choose to fight with the disbelievers. Utbah and his brother and his son. And Sayyidina Abdul Harisa, Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib, and Sayyidina Hamza. So they fight with each other. And Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu arda, in the day of judgment, the first to khusuma, the first just, will be front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala between us and them. Because this is was the first to khusuma in the Islam. So imagine that will be in the day of judgment front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to understand that if we are in a rules of hurting people and you know it, it will be front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, we ignored all of that. And it reminded us by the khutbah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before he died. When he's talking to his sahaba, and he said, Ashtaqtu ila ahbabi, I miss my lovers, my lovers, I miss them. Ya Rasulullah, we not? He said, no, you're my companions, you're ashabi. But ahbabi, the people who believe in me and they never see me. See, he's talking about us. But if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to this time now, do you think he will be happy about what we are doing in our time now? We ignore the deen of Allah, the message is empty. Our kids speak language, we don't understand it. He will be happy with us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took his soul earlier before he can see any of that. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of the injustice, he destroys nations, nations, because he don't like that subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's Allah and he's Adil. He don't like someone to hurt the others. People hurting themselves inside the house between the spouse and the child. Who's playing these rules? It's not you, it's not her, it's not your kids. It's the shaitan. وَاتَّبِعُوا مَا تَطْلُوا الشَّيَاطِينَ عَلَى مُلْكِ سُلَيْمَانِ وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانُ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ عَلَى الْمَلَكَيْنِ بِبَابِلَ هَارُوتَ وَمَارُوتَ وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ They don't say anything, they don't harm anyone because the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today you see a wife or a husband, they go for the magic and they make some magic to hurt his wife or just get divorced, or to, get to, to die, and he can get her wealth. And the same thing, the child, about the parents, when they get older, what is it? Isn't it haram? So you wrong yourself. You wrong yourself. And the day of judgment be in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They learn what they can harm them, not what can benefit them. Because they don't depend on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Arwa bint Qais, she was taking her land next to Sayyidina Sa'id ibn Zayd, and he is one of the Mubashirin bil Jannah, among the people that Allah promised the Jannah for them. And she took a little part of his land to her land, and she made the news, this is my land. Go to the judge, go to the, the, the believers. She, she spread the news, this is her land. When they told him, listen, this is yours, you have to fight back. He said, no, leave her to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
front of Allah, the people will meet front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knows better. Allah Adil, Allah is watching. Sayyidina Talha, he said, I was a witness when I saw her getting blind and walking next to the wall, touching to sign her way until she fell in a big hole and she, it was her grave. Imagine. This is Dawat al mazloom If the person make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is very dangerous. And this dua, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is teaching us, the parents, if they make dua, you be very careful. Has no limited and no one can stop it. It goes direct to Arsh al-Rahman, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No shit, nothing. Be careful. Be careful. Don't make dua against your child no matter what. Don't make dua among each other because it goes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inside the family. You know what is good and I keep saying it? You are the best man in the whole world. You are the Muslim. If you know that your wife should do something wrong and you forgive her. And the sister, she is the best if she knows that her husband does something wrong and she forgive him. And the kids, if they do something wrong and you wait for them until the seeds come back again by La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, give them time. Because the one who played this role is the shaitan rajim al-iyadu billah. وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحْلٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَ إِنَّا فِتْنَةٍ We are fitna. Don't make kufr. The shaitan is telling you don't be among the kafirin. Everything by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you hold yourself because this is wrong and would be front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was talking to us and if we go to read and search about his khutbah, the last khutbah, when he's talking to his sahaba and he said, that's no different between us because of the, the, only the faith, the iman. Today, we hurt each other by the words. Sorry, inside the masajid. We face all of that. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the message for us, we have to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to say, oh Allah, we understand this is your house. This is your place. When I come to the place of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I have to be very prepared, well prepared. I'm standing in front of Allah. I'm the guest of the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today they fight inside the message for no reason. Fighting left and right, the AC is high, we need it low, and they fight. Allow it in front of everyone. Ask your brother to take the temperature in front of the masjid. Fighting, I'm not taking it. You stop me from coming to the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We hear a lot left and right for nothing. It's the house of Allah. Even the salah time, when they stay in the line, they joke with each other. They take the they, they take the gilbab of each other and talk and joke. What is it? Ask the imma. They can tell you when the iqama is there, you are in salah. When the iqama started, you are in the salah. You cannot move. You cannot joke. This is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You wrong yourself. Zulm. When you look at your brother, or the sister should look at the others and say why they have better life than my life. They have better house than my house. They have better child than us. They have more money than us. Look at their car. Look how they live. Look how, look how, look how. And count, 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 count. You wrong yourself. You put yourself in a situation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell the malaika right what he is saying. What he is looking. You look to your brother, wife, and what is it? Why you make it halal for yourself to look at that? You have a beautiful wife in the Jannah. She will be better than the Hurul Ain. She will be better than anything else. The Hurul Ain is not compared with your wife in the Jannah. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala write it for all of them and for all of us to be in the Jannah, inshaAllah. So be careful when you do something because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is counting everything. You hear the news in Egypt, they approved to hang 12 of the leaders and they're waiting to the president to sign the approval. The judge already decides number over 30 will be forever in the jail, more than 25 years. 12, if you look at their names, professor in Islam, leader in the Islam, the dean of the Islamic center, the doctor so and so and so in Islam, PhD in the Islam, all of them is very, very high titles. What they gain, they say the word of the truth. The word of the truth. Even so, if I am with them or against them and I don't know them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's telling us, Don't fight with the others. We talk about nations. But if they stop the war, stop. But you don't start unless they start. And today we negotiate. Our leaders, they negotiated with Israel to come close and make two countries there, Israel and Palestine, live in peace together. So you are negotiated with the disbelievers and your own Muslim people, you don't negotiate with them? Come and sit down with them and talk with them. Come to conclusion. Not to kill them and we're getting closer to what? The month of Zulqaeda, the Hurum. In the end of the Shuri, in the Allah. Those are the months of Hurum. The Qital is Haram. The time of the Jahiliyyah. If someone so the one who killed his father, he will never touch him because he's the month of the Ihram, the Hurum months. Today we don't count that. That's what we are saying. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala great. When he took the soul of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the time, he doesn't want him to see what we are facing today. The Haram is going on. We kill each other, the blood of the Muslim, it doesn't matter where and when. Months is haram, not haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he put it in front of all of our eyes now that people cannot even go to the Hajj. Imagine that. We've been burying our houses. Still we don't go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Still we forget who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah can give everything. Today you hear the brothers, Passed the way, sister passed the way, left and right. No, still we don't, we don't take it. The grave over there, when it's the rainy day, and we need to bury one of the brother, say, oh Allah, it's too much rain. Say, look at the people under. They don't know what's up there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better than all of us. How is the grave is? The water is going down and they are down. What is there? It's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala power. We don't know. But we all know that we're going to die no matter what. But we have to have some. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you and me, we have to understand this test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that of that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to the believer. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu istainu bis sabr was salah. Sabr and salah. You have something in your home? Wudu, salah and sabr. That's all you have to do. Something in front of you hurts your country. Sabr and salah. Because there is a leader can take care of that and they will be in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they do something wrong to all of us. Istainu bis sabr was salah. And he's telling us too, don't worry about the people who die because you don't know and we don't know what will happen to them. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he showed us the people passed away and there is a grade that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it to them. How many people will pray behind this person? We came to the time only two, three people can go and bury the person. We're all witness of that. Everything is open back. Alhamdulillah. Because we need someone who is making dua to this person. And the ulama, they said that even the person commit a lot of sins, but he make one 
something good. Allah loves it subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like he's given sadaqah for someone. Um, somebody, he needs something and he gives it to him and he makes dua for him. Before this body enters the grave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive all his sins and he would be the best place in the grave. Because of one dua, person did it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You hear stories every single day, people killing each other in the same house. The person killed his father and his mother and his five kids and he stand next to them and smoke a cigarette. We talk about Muslims. A father who is 85 years old has some argue with his son. Look at the news in Egypt. Waiting for him when he comes back to his work. He has a teenagers and he shoot him in front of everyone. He killed his son. Where is the Iman? Where is the Iman? And when he asked them, he said, oh, because of the corona and I'm getting upset. Excuse me, has nothing to do with the corona. Has nothing to do with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Has to do with the Iman and believe there is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He can forgive all the sins. Believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he can put you in very good shape and bad shape and all of the, any situation you have to say alhamdulillah. You say alhamdulillah. It's the test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You get closer to the days of the hajj and there is the dua, the 10 days over there. Allah promised the people who believe. When you give him something good, Allah give it to me. If something happens, say, oh, Allah don't like me. Excuse me. Don't make them The money is all in our life. Because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the shaitan, go behind their kids and their money. That's what they love. And I will forgive them too. See how is Allah subhanahu wa love you? He knows you will come back to him. Return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't wrong yourself. Believe in Allah. Say la ilaha illallah all the time. Let all the other issues away from you. Don't upset yourself. Correct yourself inside your home. This is the most important thing. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah, Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa lah. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, وَبَشِّرُ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَجْعُونَ This word not only in the time of death, we have to say it all the time. That's what we learn from who? Al-Ma'asum Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the time before he died, he went to Al-Baqi'ah, and he looked at the Sahaba of Uhud and he say, Antum is sabiquna wa nahnu lahaqoon. You are the first and we will follow you. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajaoon. Ulaik alayhim salawatum min rabbim wa rahma ulaikum al muhtadoon. Those who have salah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue after that to remind you by the day of the hurum. Inna safa wal marwata min shahair illa. Allah. Allah. After all of that, he's telling you there is a place waiting for you. A safa wal marwa. You will go there if you have money. But today, when I ask our Sheikh Maulana, he said, still did not open yet. See how we are interesting. See how where is our hearts. We need to go to see Al Madina Al Munawwara to give salam to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We need to be in the Jabal Uhud. If we did, we need it again and again because we say to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, Ja'alha ayyaman idda. Let us all go back again and again and again because we love this place. The bliss that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love. We need to get forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, when you go home today, you are the man of the house. If you have any issue with your wife, smile in her face. I'm not going to say buy a bouquet of flowers, $26, one rose. Take her to Dunkin' Donut and get some coffee together. And sister, she has to be well all the time too. Not with the clothes of the kitchen, clothes and dirty and welcome her husband too. She has to correct herself. He has to know he's coming to see the angel in the house. To see the best person on the earth. To talk to her. Sit down and talk together. 
And your son, if he makes something wrong or mistake, please, easy, 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 will come back. We have the age 14 and then until say 2021 20, is very dangerous. They don't like the way you talk. They don't like the way I'm talking. They don't like to go to the Imam. You are an old custom, old style. That's what you hear. But after that, you will come back to you no matter what. Because you built in them the Imam. Because you marry her mom by the word of Muhammad Rasulullah. La illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. So the Iman is there. The seeds of the Iman is there. It will come back. But take it easy. They will take time. They'll come back. Don't fight. Don't kick them out of the house. We face that. Where do you go if you kick them out of the house? You send them directly to the hand of the shaitan. And the shaitan will take care of him. And after that, you cry as a father or a mother. And you run to the message, please help. You have to help yourself first before the imam take a decision. Send them to the masajid. Learn the Quran, the hadith, the fiqh. What is right, what's wrong, what's halal, what's haram. Build it inside them when they are young. But if they grow up and they don't care about that, what do you need? What do you expect? It's going to be a mazlama in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, enter the hellfire because you didn't do say, he's my father, he's never, he never teach me anything. You see how is it? And the Prophet, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will say these people will be among the muflis. And the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, what is it? Who is the Muflis? They say, the Muflis, you know the Muflis. They say, Ya Rasulullah, the Muflis, that one has no money or nothing. He has, he's poor. They say, no. The one has a lot of good deeds. He pays sadaq and zakah and sawm and salah and everything. But his injustice with the others, he wronged the other people. Even the family come in the day of judgment, they will take from his good deeds, take and take and until he gets empty hand, will be in hellfire, will ayadu billah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, these people get punished in the hellfire with the kafirin or the billah. And what is there? Allah will make their material from the hellfire or the billah. As you melt the iron, it will be in the tub. Drop in the top of their head, melt their stomach and their, their, their skin. They will be chained by the middle. Every time they like to run away from the fire, they will return back. They will return back. This is the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among the people who is not doing anything wrong and follow the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah maghfir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat, al muslimina wal muslimat, al ahya'i minum wal muat. Allah maghfir lil mu'minina wal muat, al muslimin, warham amuat, wa amuat muslimin. Allah maghfir lil mu'minat, Allah maghfir lil mu'minat, min abaina wa umahatina wa akhawatina wa alina akarim. Allah maghfir lil walidina wa rahamu ma kama rabbayana sagara wa barik fi awladina. Allah maghfirzum al Quran. يا أرحم الراحمين اجعلهم يتبعون سنة حبيبك المحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم اجعلهم من رواد المساجد يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم ابعد عنهم الشيطان الرجيم اللهم ابعد عنهم الشيطان الرجيم وعن أمهاتنا وأبائنا وأمهاتنا وأهلنا وأزواجنا يا كريم اللهم اجعل بيوتنا عامرة بالقرآن وسنة حبيبك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم خالية من الشياطين اللهم لا تجعل للشيطان مكانا في بيوتنا اللهم لا تجعل للشيطان مكانا في بيوتنا اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا اللهم إنا نسلك الجنة ونعيمها ونعوذ بك من النار وشرورها اللهم اجمعنا مع الحبيب المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم إنا نسألك وقفة على عرفات اللهم إنا نسألك وقفة على عرفات اللهم اجعلنا نمر ما بين الصفا والمروة اللهم اجعلنا نمر ما بين الصفا والمروة اللهم اجعلنا ما بين الصفا والمروة ندعوك ونرجوك ونتوسل إليك اللهم اغفر لنا يا كريم لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين وصلى اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله رحمن ورحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان ويتاء ذي القربى ونعن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي عدكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العلي العظيم يذكركم وادعوه يستجب لكم وأقم الصلاة Thank <laughs> you.